story to tell. According to Russia Sputnik, quoting expert Vladimir Pospolov, a member of the Russian Federation Military Industrial Association, said that the Su-57 fighter would need a lot of big changes if it is to become a future aircraft carrier-based fighter. These changes could be so great that it would be necessary to design a completely new version, which will even be more economical and effective than trying to modify existing Su-57 fighters. In the event that Moscow still wants to put the Su-57 to serve on the aircraft carrier, first, these fighters will have to modify the landing gear. Taking off and landing on an aircraft carrier requires extremely fast acceleration, causing the landing system to suffer a huge impact force. In order to operate on an aircraft carrier, the landing gear of the fighter will have a special structure, much more solid than a conventional landing gear. In addition to the landing gear system, the Su-57 fifth-generation fighters will need a brake cable hook, usually located at the tail of the aircraft when landing. The difficulty of the brake cable is that it will also suffer a very strong impact to hold the entire fighter when it lands, requiring the fuselage structure to be properly designed from the beginning. In the event that the airframe of the Su-57 is not designed to put traction in the rear, it will be difficult to overcome this shortcoming. It will affect the entire structure of the aircraft, related to the stair function and aerodynamic design of the fighter. In a good case, if the landing gear system and the brake hook are simply modified, the next problem would be wings, which could have to be faulted. Wing faulting is a basic requirement of all aircraft carrier-based fighters, helping to store more aircraft and use the floor space more efficiently. Finally, the Su-57 needs to be able to withstand the harsh environment at sea. In the short water environment, the outer coating of the aircraft will be very vulnerable if operated for a long time. In addition to the modification of the Su-57, the carrier will also need to be modified to accommodate the new fighter. Important items such as runways, lifts, braking cables, etc. will have to be recalculated to suit the operation of the Su-57. In short, it is very difficult to put a ground-based aircraft in service on a carrier. However, According to experts and observers, it is possible that the Su-57 was planned to operate on an aircraft carrier from the very beginning. It will only take a few tricks to make the Su-57 a carrier-based fighter. At the moment, the early fifth-generation fighters in the world that can operate on aircraft carriers are the US F-35 fighters. Among them, 
the F-35B version is designed for a short takeoff and landing, while the F-35C version is designed for a cutter takeoff and landing with a brake cable. My video about the Russian Su-57 fighter answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.